Hello everybody, I'm going to go over DxO's Photo Lab for Elite and specifically I'll be looking at Deep Prime which is one of their AI noise reduction technologies which is built into Photo Lab for Elite. So we'll be covering that right after this. Alrighty, so in this video, I want to cover a little bit on DxO's Deep Prime, which is built into Photo Lab for Elite. Now, this is part of Photo Lab for Elite. Other versions may not necessarily have this, so you'll have to double check um, if you are interested in doing a trial or purchasing this, which version you're looking at. So in this video, I'm going to look at what is Deep Prime and how it's different to other noise reduction technologies. To do that, we'll do a little bit of a technical run through on how a camera sensor works, but I'm going to keep it fairly straightforward. We'll be looking at where Deep Prime is within Photo Lab for Elite, some of the limitations, and then we'll also be looking at some example images that I've taken to show the difference between um, the Prime and Deep Prime and so on. So to get started, we'll talk about what is Deep Prime. Deep Prime is a noise reduction technology and where it's different to a lot of other photo editing um, tools like Topaz Denoise AI and so on is that it does it at the demosaic in um, stage on your raw files. So that's one of the limitations. It needs a raw file. If you've got JPEGs and those sorts of files, it won't work because it needs the raw sensor data. In terms of what demosaic in is, let's have a look on Wikipedia and I'll put the links below to all of this so you can have a look. But we have an example color sensor here. And what the camera sensor consists of is individual pixels that measure levels of red, blue and green. So these individual pixels don't overlap. However, most of the photo editing software that we work with uh, wants the pixel information in a form where an individual pixel contains all red, blue, and green information. Since the red, blue, and green pixels aren't evenly spaced out, and we can see that in this example image here, for example, there more than maybe more than one um, pixel and others, they may be laid out differently and so on. Demosaic and uses algorithms to try and pull all of the color data into a viewable red, blue, and green file that the photo editing software can then work with. So what Deep Prime is doing is when it's doing that demosaic in, and you can see an example here where they've sort of tried to include the pixel information, and this is a DxO website. When it's pulling together these red, blue, and green um, pixels into its um, final image. It's also trying to consider noise and it's doing that by taking the raw image with noise and feeding it into its artificial intelligence model. What DxO have done is that they've given this model millions of images that they've analyzed over 15 years and they've taught it what is noise and how to try and address that noise but try and balance color information and sharpness and all of these important things. Because the problem with noise is that if you go full ball trying to remove noise, you can uh, subsequently affect the sharpness of an image or the color rendition. So Deep Prime is trying to strike that balance between how do I remove um, as much noise as I can, but how do I try and keep this picture as um, accurate and as good as I possibly can. So that's what the um, Deep Prime technology is broadly. Now, what we're going to do is I'm going to jump across into the Photo Lab 4, and we're going to look at a couple of different images that I have here. So I've got three images that I'm using as examples. These are images that I've taken, and they're all high ISO images. 
Um, I've got an image of a lizard, a butterfly, and a snake. So we've got the lizard, which is ISO 6400, the butterfly, which is ISO 5000, and a snake, which is ISO 5600. So you can see there is a bit of noise with these. Um, but what I'm going to do now is let's have a look at where Deep Prime is within DXO. So I'm going to jump back to the photo library. And then from here, I'll click on Customize. So on the right hand side of the screen, we have Light, Color and Detail. The DXO denoising technologies lives within Detail. And so at the moment, you can see I've got this Well, now that I've clicked on it, I've turned it on. But at the moment, that's off. So if the slider next to DXO denoising technologies is gray, that means it's off. If you click it and it's blue, that means it's on. So there are three denoise technologies within um, DxO's Photo Lab for Elite. They include HQ, Prime, and Deep Prime. So HQ is uh, like a general sharpening. Prime is a little bit more intelligent, and Deep Prime is the one that we're looking at at the moment. Now, a couple of things that I want to cover very briefly in terms of the user interface, and we'll click on this um, uh, lizard just to show you. So when we look at the DxO denoising technologies, only some previews will show up. What I mean by that is if you click on HQ, that will show you in this main preview window the difference between um, denoise and noise. Um, and you can zoom in and see that a little bit more. So if I turn this off, you can see there's a lot of noise. If I turn it on, you can see that there's uh, a lot less. Now, Prime and Deep Prime don't show up in this main preview window. So to see the impact that these are going to have, you actually need to look at these in the magnifying window. So what you'll notice is that there's a little magnifying center icon to the far right. If you click that, it'll bring up a box and you can then move that around to change what you see in, in the magnifying section. Uh, if you want to see the impact the Prime is going to have, you then click on Prime and let's have a look. So at the moment, I'll click on HQ and you can see, look, it has removed in the magnifying some noise compared to with it off. And then if we look at Prime, that changes it again. And then if we look at Deep Prime, it does make a difference, but it's a little bit harder to see. And what I'm going to do later on in this video is I'm going to show you the um, exported files so that I can actually zoom in and show you the difference between Prime and Deep Prime. So that's the user interface. Uh, and you can see that when we go from HQ to Prime in the magnifier, it definitely makes a difference on the reptile. And then when we go to Deep Prime, I think it makes a difference, but we'll have a look in the uh, magnified uh, exported files later on. So now I'm going to jump across to the butterfly. Um, again, when we're looking at this, a couple of things to bear in mind. Not every section will show up in the main preview. So we will see HQ. And if we turn that off and back on, we can see that makes a difference. But then to see any more, we need to look at the magnifying section over here. So if I click on Prime, I think that makes a difference from HQ to Prime. And then Deep Prime. The difference that I notice around here is around the antenna. Um, and what we can do is we can also jump across to the leg. And if we look at the leg, if I go from prime to deep prime, it removes a bit of noise in the background is where I noticed that the most. Um, again, we'll go back to the antenna. So we're on prime. And it's not too bad, but there is a little bit of noise. And then if we click on deep prime, it reduces it even more. So now I'm going to jump across to the snake and I apologize for those who aren't fans of snakes. Um, 
and we're going to have a look at some of this as well. Now, I will zoom out to 50% and we'll just look at HQ. So off and on definitely makes a difference. But again, that's the fairly standard sharpening process. Uh, sorry, that's the fairly standard denoise process. In the magnifier, if we click on prime, I think it's definitely made a difference. And then if we jump across to deep prime, it just cleans it up a little bit more and removes a little bit more noise. Now we can also have a look at this, which I think is its nose. I apologize if I've got the anatomy wrong, um, but we'll go to HQ. Again, if we turn that off, there's a fair bit of noise. Turn it on, it definitely removes a fair bit. If we jump to prime, it definitely takes out more. And then deep prime just gives it a little bit more of a cleanup. Now, I'm conscious that it's not really that easy to see the difference in those. So what I'm now gonna do is I'm going to open up Affinity Photo. And what I've done here is I've exported the three um, different images, but I, I've exported both the deep prime and the prime versions. And the reason that I did that is so that we can zoom in and have a look at the difference a little bit more. So I've got our three um, uh, three images here. I'll start off with the rep, uh, the the lizard, and at the moment I've got prime turned on, and now that's deep prime. So you can see as I toggle between prime and deep prime it just removes a little bit more noise. So it is quite subtle, but it is definitely making a difference between prime and deep prime. So this is about 150% zoom. So it is zoomed in a fair bit. So in this case, I'm going to have a look at the um, butterfly. And at the moment, this is deep prime on, and this is off. Deep prime on and off. So you'll notice around the antenna, it's definitely making a difference to the amount of noise in this image. Um, and I think it, it's um, quite significant using this example. Now this is at about 200% zoom. So it is zoomed in a fair bit, um, but it does show that example as well. And now I'm going to jump across to the snake. In this case, I've got the image of the snake. Um, I might just move one of these, sorry. Um, I've got the image of the snake. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to turn deep prime off. So that's just prime. And then deep prime on. So deep prime off. Deep prime on. And if you look at the eye, that's where I notice a lot of detail in terms of the difference between prime and deep prime. It's just cleaning it up a little bit more than what prime alone is. So again, prime and deep prime. So when we look at deep prime, I think it does make a pretty significant difference. Now, again, as I said earlier, this is doing it at the demosaic end stage when it's working on the raw image. So unlike a lot of other um, denoise removal technologies, this needs to do it at the very start of the process and it needs to do it on a raw file. Um, that means that, as I said, JPEGs and those sorts of things, it won't work with, but other... Uh, raw files, it should be fine with. So what I'll do is I'll put some links in the description below in terms of both Demosaic in, as well as where you could download the software to do a trial, or if you wanted to purchase it, you could do so there as well. I hope this video has been interesting and useful just in terms of covering the PhotoLab 4 Elite Deep Prime AI noise re reduction technology. Thanks for watching.
I do, I'm just being genuine Yeah, I'm sick of being screwed, feel channeling Yeah, I do just what I do And I hope you let me in, let me in, yeah